Well, as I, as I said for a long time, Britain could live without any deal. There's no doubt about it. The Director General of the World Trade Organization said it wouldn't be a walk in the park, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. But it's better to get an agreement, not least because it gives businesses, and we talked to all the small businesses here in Bristol today, um, they want certainty, they want predictability in this process. We have a number of factors weighing on us. First of all, uh, the European Union, although it's been a diminishing proportion of our total trade over the past 10 years, is still responsible for 44% of our trade in goods and services. We heard from businesses across this region today that many of them trade just with Europe. Some of them use Europe as a springboard for trade. But at the same time, we know that the majority of global growth in the next five years, the IMF says 90% will occur outside Europe. We've also got to be able to take advantage of those opportunities, which means how do we get maximal access to the European market without tying our hands or access to new trade agreements that will come elsewhere. That's been the, the balance that we've had to, to juggle. And at the same time, we've got the European Union's perception of where they don't want to see Britain having what they regard as an undue advantage over the European Union uh, in these affairs. And for someone like me who's long believed in leaving the European Union, but at the same time believes that we need to be a, a prosperous country as we go forward, these are, these are difficult things to balance. Well, we had a long discussion at Cabinet. As the Prime Minister said, it was a very passionate discussion and none of us held back uh, on our views. But to govern the country, we have to have positions of collective responsibility. Um, and when we've decided those, we have to go forward together. This was a decision on the divorce settlement, if you like, the, the separation between the UK and the EU. Uh, the future relationship still to be negotiated beyond that. But in this divorce settlement, was it acceptable to the Cabinet to allow the Prime Minister to go to the uh, November Council uh, and make that offer to the European Union? That's still an offer being made to them. It's not a final deal. Uh, and we thought that that was a reasonable thing for the Prime Minister to do. And I have to say, you know, I think she's behaved with tremendous dignity and not to say resilience uh, in this particular matter, which has been very impressive, especially close up.